Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to talk about Margaret Burbage and her contributions to the field of astronomy. So let's take a look at this here. She lived from 1919 to 2020, uh, born in England and actually studied at the University College London and received her doctorate, her PhD degree there in 1943. Now her scientific work uh, concerned a number of different things that we'll take a quick look at here. In 1951, she actually started working at the Yerkes Observatory outside the on the University of Chicago. And one of the things she worked on was the chemical abundances of stars. What were stars made of? Now we've learned already that stars are pretty much made of hydrogen and helium. But the interesting thing comes in those little trace elements. What are the relative concentrations of the others? And what can we learn about how those were formed? And one of the things that she helped come up with in one of her papers that she was a co-author on was on stellar nucleosynthesis. And that stated that elements were produced in nuclear reactions in the stars. So all of the things that we see are actually come from stars. Hydrogen and helium originally formed. But when we look at things like a star here, we can see how it has all of these different sections from a hydrogen exterior down in through helium and then carbon and oxygen and neon and magnesium and silicon and sulfur down to an iron nickel core. So at the very end of the life of a star, it has all different things going on there. And that's where a lot of those elements can be produced. And then in a stellar explosion, they could be expelled back out into the universe. So the elements that we see in our bodies come from stars and nucleosynthesis in stars. Now, she studied other things as well, including galaxies and quasars, and is credited with discovering the most distant quasar known until that was surpassed in 1982. She also worked on the faint object spectrograph for the Hubble Space Telescope, and we see that here. This is actually when it was being removed later, so the box over here that the astronaut is removing is actually the faint object spectrograph, which was up with Hubble for its first seven years or so, and on one of the servicing missions, it was then removed to replace with another uh, instrument. Now, one of her other accomplishments was that she was the very first female president of the American Astronomical Society in 1976. So let's go ahead and summarize a little bit of what we've looked at here today. And we talked about Margaret Burbage, that she was born in Alabama back in 1919. She worked on stellar abundances and co-wrote the paper on stellar nucleosynthesis, which is the basis of what we understand today. So it was the beginnings of our understanding of how the different elements formed. And then we also mentioned how she became the first female president of the American Astronomical Society in the 1970s. So that concludes this discussion on Margaret Burbage. We'll be back again next week to talk about another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.